Good everyone. My name is Graphics. In this video, we want to draw the true shape of a cylinder that is sectioned along the cutting plane VT and the section line is inclined at an angle of what 45 degree as displayed at the right hand side of the screen. So when you do, when you see a question like this, you first of all redraw the figure, right? So if I take my T square, I'm going to draw my horizontal line this way, first of all. Just front line first. You can see that. And I'm going to draw the vertical line this way. First of all, you can see that whereby this is the center of this two line. Now, what I want to draw now, I want to draw a circle. Why am I drawing a circle? If you look at the base of this cylinder here, it is showing a symbol in front of it, which is what diameter. So we say that the diameter is what 44. So meaning that I will take a radius of what radius of 22 this way. This is 22, and I'll place it at this point. And I'm going to draw a circle which I am going to take in. Then the next thing is I am going to project the ends of the circle. These are the ends of the circle here. I'll project it this way. And I'll project here too this way. You can see that and I'll close it up in this manner. Right, that will be the base of the cylinder there and the height is given to the 60 and I'm going to measure 60 from 0 to what 60 at this point here. Right, and I'll use my meter rule and I'm going to project that point to point 60 right and I'll take this one up to this way then I'll close it up you can see that and I'll close it up too Now, we are now told that where the section plane is at an angle of what 45 degree to the horizontal, passing through this point, distance 16 millimeter from the top. So I'm going to measure from here to here, 16 millimeter as shown in the diagram. So I'm going to measure 16 millimeter from zero to this point here is 16. You can see that, and that point you see is where my cutting plane so I'll take it to pass through that point I measured right having fully aware that the angle it must be um, 45 degree to the horizontal plane right anything along the size horizontal so I'm going to take it this way through this point I'm going to draw my cutting plane this way You can see that. So the cutting plane here, looking at this direction and at this direction here. From here and here. Right? This is V and this is T. So this is what the question 
suggest is that the key now we want to start to show that when i cut this plane at this distance here what will it look like right so this is what is actually happening here let me complete the plan what will i see if i'm looking at it from the plan right don't forget that this is a plane this is a solid it is not hollow so i'll just take my set square and i'll divide this into six so when i place it this way with the same radius to this point i'll mark up i'll come here also i'll mark up I'll come here so I will mark left and what and right. So with the help of my instrument, I'm going to project this point to go through the center of the circle this way, to the center of the circle this way, to the center of the circle this way, faint line, and also do it here too. You can see that so i can easily see that this point here is one here also is one if here is two here two is two if here is three here is three if here is four here is four if here is five here is five and i can see here is zero i can also call it what to be what let me just call it to be six All right and i'm going to project those circles those points to touch my inclined line this way so if i should do that this is what i will be having right this is what i'll be having here i'm going to take this this point to come and touch here this point too should come here too This point two and here and here. You can see that now where the inclined where those points are touching the planes, right? I am going to what project those points. Then if we with section, section it means that what you've cut it from those points, right? You what you've cut it from those points. When you cut it from here, that means automatically this point here is cut off. So I will not be seeing this here. From here to here, I won't be seeing this. Meaning that the rest will be what? Will be sectioned. So there's a section here. All this part will be sectioned. All these parts will be what sectioned. Because of what I told you, whatever you're seeing is where from here, where my section plane cuts, I'm going to section that part. So the section plane is not cutting here, that is why I'm leaving here exposed. Right now, the next thing is to show the true shape of this section part. From this cutting plane here, I'm going to this line you're seeing here is representing one. This line you're seeing here representing two. Here representing three. Here representing four. Here representing five. And this end point represents what? Six. So since I projected with an angle of what? Angle of 45 degree. Right? I will use 45 degree so that I'll make 90. So if this is 60, here will be 30. If this is 30, here will be 60. So since here is 45, I will use 45 to project. So from 6, I'll project. You can see that. From 5, I'll project 2. From 4, I'll project. From 3, I'll project. From 2, I'll project. From one here, I'll project. So I can. It's only where it's touching, where this line is touching the inclined plane. I'll, I'm going to project. Now what I will now do is, 
I'll just take my cotton plane. This is I have a center line here, right? I will draw another center line this way, my horizontal plane this way here. Right, this center line is representing I'll call it zero six. Right, I'll place it this way, I'll call it what point zero and what point six that is zero six. And when I come here, look at what is happening. If I come to one to this point here, this is one, right? And I'll go to the line of one, this line of one, I'll come here, I'll place it on that line. I'm going to mark to this point. Is that the key? Let me understand. I'll come to this is what we'll do here. I'll come to I'll project here two out. I will show you what I'm doing. Let me project this point out too. It will just give you an instant instance. So this is where it is ending. So here will be the zero and here will be the six. I will explain to you why I did that. So here will be the zero. So here will be the zero here. So we know that this is point zero. And what? And point six. So what I'll do is, I've already got into the point of zero at this point. I'll come to here. This is one. I'll go to line of one. I'll place it here. I'll mark one and what? And one. I'll come to two. This point. I'll go to the line of two. I'll come here. I'll mark what? Two. Let me measure that very well. I'll mark from this point. 2 and what and 2 I'll come here to a 3 I'll come to this point also I'll mark 3 and 3 I'll come here to for 4 I'll place it on 4 I'll come to 4 here the line of 4 if you trace it is a line of 4 I'll mark 4 and what and 4 I'll come to 5, I'll do the same thing 2 from 5, trace it to the line of 5, come here, I'll mark 5, and what, and 5, then we have the point 6 here. So I'm going to use my French curve, and I'm going to connect all those dots together, don't forget, this is point 1, point 1, point 2, point 2, point 3, 3, 4, 4, Five, five, then six. So I'm going to join them together using my French code. Do we have this right? So what do you notice? Um, at one and one is what is cut off, right? So that means I am cutting here off. I don't really need this part here. So one and one is cut off from here. At this point, it's cut off. I'll take in that side and I'll section the rest. Turning it so, if I like, I can use my cleaner and I'll remove this part because I don't really need it. You only need the part you see. You can't see, you see, this out of the figure, so you can't see anything here. So, what I'll just do is I'll remove this, then I'll section the rest. Right? So, this is what we have here. If this cutting plane is cutting it from here, the entire figure will show. But since it is cutting it from this point, showing that this part here from here to here will not show. Right? So this is what we have here. So this is a true shape of this. And if you have um, found this video helpful, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.